Hi everyone, it's Mike with Launch Your Startups and in today's video I just want to talk to you about my January 2018 income report and just kind of do a um, building building a brand 101 um, overview uh, for people that have are just getting are new to my page and just getting started I want to learn more about building a brand compared to drop shipping, um, Amazon FBA. I feel like that's what's really popular right now, what's out there, and I feel like it's getting uh, really saturated, or people have already started it and haven't seen any income come in yet. So I just wanna show you what's the next step. Um, obviously, I feel like um, drop shipping is more so for beginners. Like, you can get started tomorrow. There's, n there's not as much money that you need to do to put down in order to get started, uh, but building a brand, um, takes a little bit more of an investment, but you reap the benefits later on because it lasts longer. Um, and then I can, ba I just basically wanna talk about the two, but we'll just jump into my January 2018 income report. And that's the next slide. So for January, total sales, so this is uh, gross sales, was $27,296.96. This is comparing it to December of uh, 2017. So obviously it's showing a 61% um, decline because of, uh, as you've seen in the previous video, I made $85,000. Yeah, $85, so down 61% to 27,000. So that's not bad. So this is more so the regular months. Um, and if I could keep it consistently, what I'm trying to shoot for is $30,000 a month that's uh, so that's about a thousand dollars a day that's where that's my goal for 2018 where I want to keep it at um, so then you can see my total online store visits has also decreased compared to when it's holiday season and, and that's what you can expect and then my repeat customer rate is at 5.53 percent so that's another thing I want you guys to keep in mind when you're building a brand you get this sense of uh, loyalty from your customers and they're more likely to be repeat customers uh, when you've kind of purchased them through or purchased um, those views or a person through through advertisements. So that's that's one thing about building a brand. So I'll talk just quick overview for people that are still new to my channel. Um, so there's drop shipping and uh, when you do drop shipping, there's no way for you to kind of differentiate yourself from other brands because you cannot put your own logos on that certain product. What you're doing is basically you're marketing, you have a website, you're saying that you have these products and then um, anytime someone purchases um, a product through, through your website, then your supplier in China that has the actual product will ship it directly to the customer. The problems with that are delayed shipping time, you don't get any logos on your products, so there's no really branding, customer service is out the door. Um, the best thing for drop shipping is if you could jump in on a fad. So if you've heard about fidget spinners and you were to jump in on it before everyone else did, they didn't necessarily need a brand. They didn't have, you know, they, just like Nike to t-shirts, so I, I use that brand a lot, or I use that example a lot, or like um, when you deal with any type of brand. Um, when the fidget spinners came out, you didn't have to be any type of brand. Everyone just wanted one. So if you jumped on that bandwagon real quick and found a drop shipper online, you could have a website up within 24 hours and start selling online and start selling those fidget spinners real quick because it, people didn't care about who was the brand. So the difference with that is it doesn't last long because as soon as like you know now fidget spinners aren't doing so well. There's so many people, it's a saturated market. So if, if you try to start a business with that, you would have died out by now. So the thing with building a brand, and um, I got some new examples, the thing with building a brand, so I found something like military rucksacks. So the, there's these military backpacks. Um, let's see if we can find a product. So this is actually a Shopify uh, website. So this is operated by Shopify. And these backpacks you can find on Alibaba. So that's Alibaba, that's where you can find suppliers overseas. Um, so what they do is you get a product from overseas, you brand it, 
in you know whichever way you want you get to actually put your logos on the products um, at the very beginning depending on what you want to do you can ship the product directly from your home or you can hire a third-party logistic company where it's just like it's similar to Amazon FBA if you if you kind of know about that where you ship it to a um, kind of like a storage area or a storage company that sends out your um, inventory so each time someone makes a purchase uh, there's one called like shipbob.com so we'll go there Ship. Shit, Bob. This is one that I've worked with in the past. So, Shit, Bob. So basically, they're a fulfillment company. You ship your products to them, and then um, each time someone makes a purchase through your website, then they send it out. So you don't have to deal. So it's almost like Amazon FBA, but then with your own um, with your own brand and your own company and your own website. So that's another thing that I want people to understand is Shopify is not like a space like Amazon. It's not like where you can just, it's not a platform in which you can sell. Shopify is just a, a platform for you to have host your website. So that's all it is. So anytime you see any like Nike, you see Nike, like you could technically run a Nike or your products um, company through Shopify and then and then what what Shopify does is just makes the logistics of selling and everything um, dealing with your inventory shipping uh, just a lot cleaner and smoother back then when you wanted to create something on Shopify or when you wanted to create a website to sell um, back then you had to know coding like you had to learn how to code um, you had to learn um, just different platforms it just made it real hard for anyone to want to sell online. But now with Shopify, they make it so easy for you to set for you to sell because it's your brand, your way. It's it's your website, so it's not like Amazon FBA where you have restrictions or you have guidelines or you have to um, you have to show up first on a ranking system if someone searched for your product. It's not like that. So Shopify is basically just a platform for you to create your website and it's your company. People will have no idea that you actually run it through Shopify. So that's super basic. It's something that I want people to know. So back to this, you basically, for, for creating a brand, you slap your logo on this backpack. You create a brand. You, you, you What you want to do is like something for like this. You want to create a brand for um, for people who work out. So now you want to create a real rugged backpack. So this is this is an example. You want to create a rugged backpack for people to use at the gym. And I feel like these backpacks are actually really good. Um, so like, let's go to Alibaba. This is just let's go military backpacks. And then you could find these backpacks that are military style. And what you could actually do is you contact the supplier and then you could tell them a certain style you want. So the one I'm trying to look for is maybe something geared towards someone that likes to go to the gym but has like all these essentials of all these pockets and things like that. So that's what I want you to do. So you, you go on Alibaba, you contact them and what they do is, you know, you find a certain style that you like and then you ask them, you know, like here you could see that some of these backpacks, you know, cost, what's a good one? So something like this, uh, $6.33 to about $6.70. You contact them, they will remove all logos off of these and then place your logo on it. So if you want to call it um, fitness backpacks, then you can, you can create a logo and then you could place it on these backpacks and now you own a company that sells backpacks and that's your brand. And then now you're going to brand it towards people who lift or people that work out because they want a rugged backpack for the gym that has um, that's really essential for them to use, have all these pockets. And then now you created that company and you created this whole brand behind this product. So that's what separates you from other from doing drop shipping is because it's hard to differentiate yourself with your competitors because you guys are all selling the same backpack with the same logo. So how can you sell online? But this is a whole different story. And then now that company that I just showed you previously, here's here's something like their, um, this is their Instagram. 
They have about 3,000 followers. They're aimed more towards like that outdoors, rugged, um, hiking, camping um, type of person. And that's what their brand stands for. So if you could create one that's something similar to this and maybe not use the green color and use like some really popping colors, you can ask your supplier like, hey, these I want this color, I want these styles. They will actually customize a product for you and then you can put your logo on it and then now you create this professional website where it's your company and now because of your brand and whatever you price it at, you can price it at, at these expensive prices because you've made it look really professional. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you try to make a website, um, your, your website is everything. If you try to create a website that was half-assed and you didn't really focus on the detail and professional photos, then you won't be able to sell it for premium prices. You know, if you sell it, you, you might just have to sell it for $20, $50 a pop. And then, but then these guys, they can sell it for $305 because they got professional product photos. Okay, that's the difference, and that's what I want you guys to focus on is that when you see all these other drop shipping companies, is they create these businesses within a day, and then and then there's no difference between you and another company, and it becomes a saturated market. So that's why everyone's doing drop shipping because it's so easy. Literally, this weekend I can go and start a drop shipping company like that. But creating a brand takes time. But the reason why it takes time is that there's less people doing it, and when, when less people are doing it and they don't want to they don't want to take the time to actually find a good product, make their logo, um, buy in bulk, and then really focus on that customer service experience, then that's those are the type of people that are going to succeed on Shopify, and that's the difference. Those are the, the people that don't want to actually do the hard work, and they think that money's going to come easy, and they could just build a drop shipping site aren't going to be successful for too long. But if you want to gain a little bit of experience and just try to figure out how to work Shopify, go ahead. Try drop shipping, but I'm telling you it won't work long term and creating a brand will. So what I like to do um, is check out, like the very first thing you're probably going to want to think of is like, hmm, what's, what's a good product? What, what can I sell? So I want you to go on Alibaba.com, type in best selling products, and just take a look at all these different type of products that you can look at and just know that you can brand these. You can put your own brand on these products and then make it look like it's that you manufactured them. So that's what it is. It's, it's kind of it's private labeling and you can't do that with drop shipping. And that's the that's the difference. So um, I want you guys to really focus on looking for your first product, finding something that you want to invest in. And then the next steps to that is building your website um, and then learning how to market. So that's using Facebook ads, using Instagram ads. But I don't, I don't want you guys to worry about that yet. Um, just finding your first product is probably the most important because that's something that you want to feel like you're, you're interested in yourself and something that you can sell. But I'm telling you, it works. Creating a brand is the future. Drop shipping, as you can see on YouTube, every single YouTuber is talking about drop shipping or Amazon FBA. Um, and no one is talking about building a brand. So I want you guys to hear it from me first that this is something you could do and I want you to jump on the bandwagon now before people start doing this, before people start jumping and creating brands because drop shipping and Amazon FBA um, is just going to be oversaturated. So again, um, please leave a comment, like, let me know what you want me to do in the next video. Um, I'm just here to help. Um, if I, uh, if you leave a comment, I'm most likely to reply to it within the day. Hope you guys have a great day.